Hey, this is Vegeta, the Prince of All Saiyans, and this is SSJ Goshen 4. Her figures are over 9,000! We here at New York Comic Con, y'all. Let's go, it's Friday. Let's go! Oh, it wraps around. There we go, y'all. Getting the pops. Hey guys, we're here at New York Comic Con. I'm inside now, New York Comic Con. And uh, I managed to get, I didn't really film it too, too much, but you saw a little bit that I was able to get um, the uh, over 9,000 pops exclusive to Chris Abbott's uh, site. I saw him at the booth, he said hi. <laughs> But he's doing a signing, like, I think this, the whole weekend. So, um, I might see him tomorrow. Because today I'm focusing on the Dragon Ball panel. I'm trying to Watch see the Watch panel. Yourself. I'm trying to see the panel Hosting today. I don't care go. about anything else but this panel. <laughs> Literally. So, um, so yeah. Uh, it's really awesome. This, this uh, convention center is so big. It's so, so nice. So, um... I already got a fan that recognized me here. So yeah, I managed to get a signed um, Vegeta Pop, the uh, over 9000 one, and I, the Majin Vegeta. And I got um, one with no signature. So I got one signed and one not signed. So I'm ready to show you more around New York Comic Con. Uh, my first time here, so let's get on with it, guys. There we go. so cute, I need some of these. <laughs> no, his legs didn't come off. Oh no, grab the legs. I'm trying to be so fragile. Look at that, it's so sick. That is a good amount of detail. And it, can't, it comes with like, like a, video a video like a, what is that? It's supposed that's to be like so the power pole? It's awesome. Yeah. That's awesome. And they have Belmont. That's awesome. Oh, there's Goku Black. I know. They have Cell, Broly, Trunks, Beerus, Vegito Blue. I think I do. Look at this boost, guys. This is the Dragon Ball um, Japanese Incense Morning Star booth. They got figures. I've seen their booth before. And they got the Dragon Ball incense over here. It's pretty awesome, actually. Get the matcha. It's amazing. Yeah, they do. We got the eight right there. Red eight pot. Awesome. I think we should get that. Got that big switch. Get all the SH figure warts in here. Nice. I got Dragon Stars. I got Shoto figures. Lots of different kinds. New York Comic Con. Let's go. Look at all the figures displayed here. Hi, hey, hey, Grandista. They got all different kinds here. Benfesto figures. Super, super cool. Look at them back there. Wow. Oh, that's awesome. Sick. FES figures. I love the FES. They're like beautiful, beautiful figures to be honest. Shunmon up in there. So awesome. Badass. Alright. Getting ready to check it out, y'all. See the figure arts right there. Look at that. Fucking awesome, y'all. Fucking awesome, y'all. The card game. Yeah. There's so much that I want to Thank you. 
Look at this line. Wow. <laughs> Guessing who will reign supreme. Looks like Vegeta is, is winning. <laughs> I'm Team Goku. I'm Team Goku. <laughs> Fucking awesome, y'all. Look at this. What? Look, guys. Ta da Coming soon. These are like the. Um, Con exclusive, you know these. These are the color variants for the con exclusives. These are new, brand new for the movie. Look at this one. Yeah, he's massive. Super Saiyan Blue Goku and Vegeta, just like they're supposed to look like in the new movie. Wow, we got 21 blue form. We got Broly from the freaking movie. That's sick as fuck, guys. I got Super Blue, I got the pre-ordered already, I got uh, Mr. Satan pre-ordered, and I got Great Salmon pre-ordered already as well. So I can't wait for those to come out. Take a look at that guys, that's fucking awesome. That's so fucking cool y'all. Hey. I like the uh, dioramas they made, that's so cool. <laughs> Look at this, hey! Badass. Hey! That's so cool, Freeze the ship. That's awesome. That's awesome. Saiyan Saga. I'll just probably feel it. I'm really excited for this. We're gonna have a whole lot of fun with you beforehand. I'm DJ Aussie Dave, bringing some music out to you. And all you need to do is just join in, like just feel the groove out there. So welcome everybody. You feeling good? Yeah. Yeah. Feeling hype? Yeah. Yeah. Fantastic. We are gonna have a whole bunch of fun on this panel. Uh, some exclusive content, some incredible people, uh, and I am so excited to bring it all to you. <laughs> Despacito! Oh, 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 o
Monica! Woo! Yeah. Monica! Woo! Her name is Monica Real. She Woo. plays Bulma. Yeah! I'm gonna run back there right now and go grab the cast from the dressing rooms. As soon as Amanda announces her on stage as, a, as our host, we're all gonna sing Happy Birthday. Woo! As as because how cool would that be to have 4,000 people singing 8,000 people? Sorry, 8,000 people singing over there. 50,000. All right, I'm going. Give it up for Scott one more time. Please give it up for Monica Rios! Yeah! One, two, three! Happy birthday! So, 
the movie is literally this close to being done right now. It's so close, and I'm so excited to share what we can with you guys today. Thank you so much. I mean, there's really not much to say. As soon as the lights go down in the theater and the screen lights up, it's going to be an experience. You're in for a ride. And as some of you know already, the Japanese release is going to be in December, but we did our very best to make sure that gap is not long. It comes out in January in North America. So to just reiterate what Nozawa-san said, you cannot take your eyes off the screen for a second with this movie. My lips are sealed. I don't want to ruin the experience for anyone out there. So I encourage you all to go witness it for yourself. Well, if Nozawa-san says that, it makes it kind of weird if we say something. So, if I can't say one thing, we are using Broly as our villain this time, of course. And uh, Nozawa-san is like, well, you know, he was very muscular. <laughs> I think we can say that the battle scenes, the fighting scenes are above all top-notch in this movie. I think I can speak for everyone here when I say it has truly been an honor. Uh, I think she can get Shauna in here for that. Uh, thank you guys so much. Uh, it's going to be a really fun movie, so you guys stay tuned and stay excited for it. Thank you. How many of you remember rushing home from school to watch DBZ? ridiculously early on a Saturday morning. A lot of you. Well then, our next guest's voice is going to sound awfully familiar. Please welcome the hero of Earth and Universe 7, the English voice of Goku, Sean Shemmy. Take them all the way back to Japan. <laughs> Thank you very much. I'm gonna find a way to bring this back. Oh, excellent, excellent. Very great to be on the panel with everyone here today. I'm so excited. All right, are you ready? I'm ready. Some questions? Yes. Okay. So I know that you've met Nozawa-san before. Yes, I have. But I gotta say, I think it's really cool to see the two of them together, right? <laughs> Changed after years and years and years of voicing the character. It's funny, um, when uh, uh, Nozawa-san was speaking, she said an answer similar to what I kind of had in mind, because as she very well knows, Goku is the one constant in Dragon Ball, so he has what I believe is like the beginner's mind or the constant's childlike state. He doesn't change much, 
Now my approach changes a little bit because I'm more comfortable with the character. And in original Z days, I did not always get to hear uh, Nozawa-san, but now with Super and with Kai, I get to hear her, uh, which is wonderful. And so that affects me a little bit in the recording sessions when I'm working because uh, I can take the energetic, even though I don't speak Japanese, I can take the energetic vibration that she's bringing to the character and, and make sure that it, it's working with what I'm doing because I, I want to make sure that I represent the character uh, honorably and correctly. Uh, for uh, English speaking fans, so not much except that it's a little bit it gets a little harder as I get older to scream And uh, I have to keep with her, up with her badass lungs um, So uh, <laughs> I have to I have to compete so uh, and, and it's a difficult shoes to fill so um, Yeah, it, it's just it's becomes lighthearted and more fun and, and, and I'm really enjoying super. I'm so nervous right now Sorry, uh, I'm never nervous on stage, but it's such a, a, a thrill to be here at Madison Square Garden with everyone out here, so. You're complaining about getting old? I had no problem doing this ah. at all. Oh. I'm not surprised. You outlive all of us. <laughs> On that note, <laughs> is there anything else that you'd like to say to your fellow Goku? Yeah. I think it's been a really long time since we last saw each other. Yes. You haven't changed at all. I'm so happy to see you. The same oh. way I remember. As you as well. You know, exactly the same. It's magical. Goku <laughs> <laughs> makes us ageless. <laughs> Some uh, unexpected things happen, some some expected things happen, and Broly's in it. I don't know if you guys heard that. Okay, what about for the rest of you? Um, what do you hope to see in the movie, and not a high line count? Something else? I saw my line count this morning, and it's actually pretty high, but... Um... <laughs> Uh, seeing the origin story in as depth as we're going to see it is is really exciting for me. I, I you get to see uh, Gine. You get to see from uh, really interesting stuff from what I've heard, like uh, the trailers and stuff, right? That we did, yeah. I'm just excited about screaming and explosions. <laughs> Sometimes I'm you are so Goku. <laughs> A lot of times he's very good. <laughs> Sorry, go ahead. I just wonder uh, what kind of new delicacies that Beerus will get to feast on in this film. Yeah, we've, seen kind of run the, we've run the buffet at this point, right? So, uh, what's left? 
Yeah. All right, guys, so we've been working on Dragon Ball Super for a while now, and I think I can speak for everyone up here when I say it's been an amazing journey. But now, I'd like to introduce someone who's just beginning their Dragon Ball Super journey, but he's doing it in a big way. So please welcome the English voice of Broly. Chocolate. What's up? Hey. Guess what, y'all? Guess what? Not only are we in New York City right now, going to New York Comic Con with the greatest, great SS Coach on Four right here. This is literally the first time we've met. We've known each other for how long? I've known you since what, 10, 11? We just saw the Dragon Ball yes. Super panel here at New York Comic Con. Oh my God! Before I freak out, what did you think? I thought it was. I loved it. I, I fangirled when I saw Masako Nozawa. The first like, time I, oh I was my. ever in a room with her. <laughs> literally ever. Same, and I was like, oh my god, I can't believe she's here, like, in the flesh, like, yeah. in my presence, breathing the same air. <laughs> Not only that, we got her, we got the producer, we yes. got the also the guy who's in charge of Dragon Ball in Japan, yep. we got Sean Schemmel, Chris Sean, Savage, Chris the Savage. voice of Beerus, I forget, I forget his name, and the voice of Weez, yes. and, and Broly. We got yes. all the cats under one roof, and it was a full house. Yeah. I sat through two panels for like damn near five hours to watch just one panel. <laughs> I came here for that panel and I gotta tell you right now, it was amazing, it was incredible. The energy in that room was astonishing. Right, I know. Everyone got Everybody. on their feet. Every, the security <laughs> had, had a hard time keeping everyone under control. We don't care. I we know. were Dragon Ball fans. We were hype, man. We were hype. Let's go. Hype. We were hype. hype. And uh, the move, they're having a premiere in California. Yes. And, and uh, I wanna go, but. I don't know. I live in Vegas, so I just, you know I'm you going. <laughs> Damn right. Shit. I'll speak in a bit if I have to. But it's like they I showed a new trailer in Japanese <laughs> and, and English, English. Which I did yeah. not think it would happen because they would have to do that a day before before going. Yeah, like, well, I knew that was going to happen. I knew personally, but I didn't expect. It was great. It was fucking amazing. I loved it. It was like, the panel. There's no panel here that can top that. That's one thing I noticed that is that New York Comic Con is very Dragon Ball centric today. Yeah. They have like five Dragon Ball uh, uh, boots yeah, at, at the con they around do. here. All centered on Dragon Ball. It's That's the big awesome. thing. Yep. I got signed, signed by Chris Savage. Chris Savage. Thank you so much. It is it's official no chocolate right here. It's linked right there. Check Comment below and go, go from there. But thank you for watching. Enjoy your day, and you, my friends, have been testified. Peace out. Peace out, guys.